Hi boys and girls, welcome to We Read and Explore. I'm so excited to have you here today to share some songs, a fun craft, and to talk about one of my favorite books by Jan Brett called The Mitten. So let's begin with our welcome song. Parents, I will be using American Sign Language, so feel free to help your little ones. We'll do it two times so you can practice the American Sign Language. All right, here we go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Let's do that one more time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Welcome. I'm so excited to talk about this fun book right here. It is called The Mitten and it's by Jan Brett. I won't tell you how it ends. You will have to make sure to put a copy on hold and pick it up at the library so you can see how the book ends. It's a fun little ending with a twist. So this book is about a boy named Nikki who wants white mittens. His grandmother says, I will not make you white mittens because if you drop one in the snow, you will never be able to find it. He, however, was adamant about getting white mittens, so she made him some white mittens. And what do you think happens? Of course, he loses a white mitten, and along the way, all of these little creatures find their way inside the mitten. I'll tell you about some of the creatures that actually end up in the mitten, and then something fun happens at the end. And like I said, you'll have to put it on hold and pick up a copy. So don't forget to do that. I'll tell you about some of the creatures that end up in the mitten. So here is our big white mitten. And along in the story, there's a mole that ends up inside the mitten. Later on, a snowshoe rabbit finds his way do you think they fit inside a mitten? I mean, look how big a mitten is. It's not that big to hold a mole and a snowshoe rabbit. But wait, there's more. There's a hedgehog that joins them, an owl, and then we also have a badger, and a few more, a fox, a bear? Can a mitten hold a bear? I don't think my mitten could hold a bear. Can yours hold a bear? And last, we have a mouse that joins them. So something happens once all of these animals are inside the mitten. So make sure to put a copy of the book on hold and check out the ending of this story. Have you ever lost something outside in the snow? Did you find it? Do you guys like playing in the snow and do you like it when it snows? I think it's very fun to play out in the snow and go sledding and ice skating and have snowball fights with your friends and family members. So make sure this winter time, if you're looking for something to do, that you go outside and play in the snow. And just maybe you'll lose a mitten and some of these fun creatures like in Nikki's story, find their way inside your mitten. All right, let's do a fun little song called Snowflakes, Snowflakes, and we'll do this two times, okay? So it goes, snowflakes, snowflakes, dance all around. Snowflakes, snowflakes, touch the ground. Snowflakes, snowflakes in the air. Snowflakes, snowflakes everywhere. Should we do that one more time? All right, get your fingers wiggling. Snowflakes, snowflakes dance all around. Snowflakes, snowflakes touch the ground. Snowflakes, snowflakes in the air. Snowflakes, snowflakes everywhere. Good job, you guys. I have a fun little flannel. It's called 10 Warm Mittens. 
so you guys can help me count, okay? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So something happens to our 10 mittens. So let's see what happens. 10 warm mittens hanging on the line. One blows away and then there are nine. Nine warm mittens out without one without a mate. A squirrel carries one away and that leaves eight. Eight warm mittens just eight, not 11. One gets buried in the snow and that leaves seven. Seven warm mittens. Which one do you pick? I'll pick the green one and that leaves six. Six warm mittens, put one on to try. Then you take it from the line and that leaves five. Five warm mittens. We had ten before. I lost one on the ski slope and that leaves four. Four warm mittens. One, two, three, four. Two for you and two for me. One falls. A fluffy bunny needs one and that leaves three. Three warm mittens looking very new. One falls into the mud and that leaves two. Two warm mittens, one, two, drying in the sun. A bird comes down and snatches it and that leaves just one. One warm mitten, what good does it do? A little mouse can have a bed and that leaves none. Even in that little story, a mouse ended up inside the mitten at the end. Just a fun little flannel for you guys. All right, should we do a fun little mitten play? If you guys have mittens at home, feel free to grab them and you can do this with me. So I will put my mittens on. Here we go. Here is my mitten. Oh, I have two, one on each hand. All right, so this one goes like this. I wiggle my left hand, I wiggle my right hand inside of my mittens, so warm and so tight. I wiggle my pinky, I wiggle my thumb, so when I make a snowball, my hands won't get numb. Good job, should we do that one one more time? All right, I wiggle my left hand. I wiggle my right hand inside of my mittens, so warm and so tight. I wiggle my pinky. I wiggle my thumb. So when I make a snowball, my hands won't get numb. Good job, you guys. You are doing so great with our mitten play. All right, let's take our mittens off and see what else we've got. I have five little snowmans that are up to some fun outside in the winter snow. So here's one snowman, two snowmen, three, four, oh, I'm losing them, and five. All right, so this one goes like this. Five little snowmen, all in a row. Five little snowmen, all made of snow. Out came the sun and shone all day, and one little snowman melted away. So now we have one, two, three, four. Four little snowmen, all in a row. Four little snowmen, all made of snow. Out came the sun 
and shone all day, one little snowman melted away. So that leaves three. One, two, three. Three little snowmen all in a row. Three little snowmen all made of snow. Out came the sun and shone all day. One little snowman melted away. Two little snowmen all in a row. Two little snowmen all made of snow. Out came the sun and shone all day. One little snowman melted away. That leaves us with one. One little snowman all in a row. One little snowman all made of snow. Out came the sun and shone all day. One little snowman melted away. Good job, you guys. Thank you so much for following along with me. All right, boys and girls, let's begin with our craft for the day. I have a mitten wreath here. Here is mine that I made and I am looking forward to hanging it up on my door for my neighbors and my friends and family to enjoy. So let's begin. You will need a paper plate and you'll need to cut out the inside. And then you'll also need a three punch hole and you can, or just one, and you will want to punch a hole at the top. And this is where you will string your string through and this you can use to hang on the door. So let me do that. And if you need help with this step, you can definitely ask a grown up or a big brother or a big sister to help you as well. So that is that. Next, you will need some markers or crayons. You can also use stickers, whatever you would like to decorate your mittens. You'll also need a glue stick. And then for the large plate, you need eight mittens. So I already have six of them decorated. I think I will keep a white mitten, just like Nikki had in the story, the mitten. So I think I'll go ahead and cut this one out. All right, let me cut that out. And then I think my last mitten, I will use a green marker on. So I'll color that green and then we will go ahead and assemble our mitten wreath. You can also make a small wreath. You would just use a small paper plate and about four to five uh, mittens. That way if you didn't want to make a big one, you can make a small one and it'll look just as nice. There's my white mitten. And then the last one, I think I will use the green marker. So I'll go ahead and I'll color it in. And I'm definitely coloring outside the lines and that is a-okay. So let me color that in. And then we'll cut that out and we will assemble our mitten wreath. I'm so excited to see these hanging on the door. They always bring a little bit of color to our white winter days. So there's my green one and I'll cut that out. All right. Almost done. And if you would like, once you have your mitten wreaths made up, you can share those on our Facebook page. We would love to see those. It's always nice to get messages from you. All right, there's my last mitten. So now we have all of our mittens. I will scoot these over. I have my glue stick and I have my paper plate. So you'll want to make sure that all of your mittens are facing the same direction on your plate. So we'll begin with our green one. <clears throat> we'll take some glue and put that on the bottom. And we just start assembling. And they overlap a little bit, but not a whole lot. Okay. That way they can fit nicely all the way around. Pink one. 
one. Up next, we have a purple one. These turned out so nice. And then we have an orange one. Okay. And a red one. There's the red mitten. We have two mittens left, a blue one and a yellow one. So you can decorate the mittens however you want. You can add some polka dots or some stripes or little snowflakes. All right. So here we go. Here is my mitten wreath. Don't these just look so adorable? So there's that one and this one again. So those are my two mitten wreaths. I look forward to seeing yours. And parents, we do have a few kits available. You can contact us at youthservices at siouxfalls.org and request a mitten wreath kit and we will send that out to the branch of your choosing. Inside you will find a paper plate, some string, and also the mittens for your child's color. And once again, we, have, we will have those available December through January. And you can email us at youthservices at siouxfalls.org and I'll also link that email at the end of the video for you as well. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for joining me today. Let's finish our story time with a goodbye song. And once again, I will use American Sign Language. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. All right, let's do that one more time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, boys and girls. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay safe and stay warm this winter season. Bye-bye.